Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in League City, Texas. League City is located south west of, or rather southeast of Houston, going towards Galveston. We are standing in front of 2800 Virginia Avenue. That's 2800 Virginia Avenue. This is a beautiful, big four bedroom, two and a half bath home, approximately 2500 and 27 square feet. And it was built in 2015. It's relatively new. It does sit on a corner lot. The lot is about 6,500 square feet and it kind of has an interesting backyard. But the home itself is really in good condition and it has a lot to offer. It's actually about $23,000 underneath the county appraisal. So there's some instant savings there and it's a beautiful home. It's mostly brick. There is some hardy plank siding around a few parts of the home. But exterior wise, it's in good condition. It really doesn't need anything. You have a two car garage, nice front porch here. There's a combination of also some stone as well as the brick. Let's take a look at the backyard and then we will look at the inside. Now it has kind of a unique backyard. As we step out, we have a door actually off of the dining room that takes you into the backyard off of the side of the home. It doesn't have a door that takes you out to the back yard from the back of the home. And the reason why is because it's an interesting lot. You have not a whole lot of room between you and the neighbor behind you. As you can see, this is a little area here, but uh, you know, you do have this nice, good sized front yard and this nice, good sized uh, backyard here on the side of the home. Uh, rear of the home is all hardy plank that's in good condition. You have zoned AC, meaning you have two units one for upstairs and one for downstairs, which is usually better on the efficiency and your electricity bills. And like I said, exterior wise, in, in good shape. Let's have a look at the inside. Well, when we step in, we are immediately into your kind of your entryway, but that in turn has. Uh, adjoins your formal dining room here and then your living room around the corner here but immediately to the right when we walk in you do have a little half bath here it does have ceramic tile on the floor which is nice so you can probably keep that but you may want to go ahead and paint the bathroom and put in a mirror the little half bath uh, downstairs the flooring actually I think can completely be saved I think you might just want to come in and do a little bit of touch-up paint we have your living room here and this is really like a formal living room right up front because there is a dining area off of the kitchen. If we turn to the right, we have your garage. So it's a little dark in here, um, but two car garage. And there's a big storage area over here. And that might be a little bit dark, but it's a, it's a really good sized storage room. If we continue to the opposite side of the living room. And before we do that, let me pan up and show you this. So it looks like there was some kind of a mild water leak, maybe upstairs the uh, tub overflowed or shower overflowed and it affected a little bit of the sheetrock but that's super easy to fix as long as the leak was fixed we then come over into your kitchen so there's a big you know kind of big dining kitchen area here that opens up into your kitchen a huge island which i really like with granite countertops this home has a lot of countertop space a lot of cabinetry space it is missing the oven and the refrigerator but that's pretty minor and it's set up for an electric oven if you were curious but the kitchen's in good shape. I like the big island. You have like a big space over there for your, your main dining and then uh, cabinetry built in. If we walk over on this side, you do have a downstairs office or study. So if you have uh, kids that maybe you want to do their homework, you want to keep it on, they can use this downstairs study area or it could be your at-home office. We make our way upstairs. Now the carpeting on the staircase probably needs to be replaced. When we get upstairs and to the left, we have bedroom number one. It's actually a very good sized bedroom has two huge closets and lots of space. This room's gonna need a touch-up coat of paint and probably some flooring. Right next to that, we have bathroom number one, which has a granite sink basin there. And a ceramic tile on the floor, which I think is nice, and it actually matches the surround in the, in the tub. And it's a big garden tub, so that's a nice feature to shower and tub combo. Continue further down the hallway. To the right here, we have your master bedroom and master bath. It's a really good sized bedroom. I like the recessed ceiling. It's very pretty. We come over here and we have a little closet here. And then we have the master bath, which is a pretty nice master bath. You do have dual vanities with granite. You have your, um, your uh, water closet, meaning your tub and commode. 
We have a separate shower and a big garden and jacuzzi tub. Now, I didn't want you to think that that was the only closet, that little tiny one, because there is another closet on this side of the master behind the door. Uh, not a huge amount of closet space, but, you know, you can make do. That's bedroom number two, the master bedroom, the master bath. Right next to that, we have bedroom number three. This is kind of a smaller bedroom, but right up at the front of the home. And then bedroom number four, which is actually a pretty good sized bedroom, which needs carpeting and painting. Another, another perk is upstairs is where the washer and dryer connections will be, which happens to be where most of your clothing is going to be upstairs. So that's about it. Like I said, we're down in League City. This home is about 23000 under the county appraisal. Here's the summary. Well, there you have it, 2800 Virginia Avenue. That's 2800 Virginia Avenue. A nice four-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath, two-story home. Relatively new. It's only about three years old. It's about $23,000 underneath the county appraisal listed right now for only $216,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.